Okay, doing one today on um, sweep tube amplifier shorts. You know, you keep blowing the fuse, you think it's the high voltage, which it usually is to blow the fuse. I get a, a lot of people, especially on Facebook, again, they give a lot of disinformation or misinformation about, you know, uh, what it is on a short. But first of all, before you even go in it, um, make sure that the capacitors are discharged not all uh, CB or sweep tube amplifiers have bleeder resistors um, this is a Maverick 250 and I put bleeders in it but this did not originally have any type of bleeder resistor in it at all so the caps would not discharge in it um, looking at schematics and there are many schematics of uh, DNA amps and I have a bunch um, some had a single one meg bleeder resistor so it would bleed it was just take it a while to bleed at one meg and that bleeder resistor went across the um, high voltage to ground so it was not used as an equalizing resistor too um, modern thinking um, is that uh, it's best to use both a bleeder for safety so you um, bleed off the power but since you got to put a resistor anyway in there anyway to bleed off the power you might as well put equal resistors across each cap to bleed the caps individually which is you know a better way than one resistor because if that one open you got no bleed at all so you got one across each cap and you know that's those uh, blue resistors there across each one across each cap and if one of them opens um, you're still gonna get bleed across the other two so you know uh, um, it's a lot safer method method to bleed using um, a bleeder off each cap but also there's a thing called equalizing resistors when you have a bunch of caps in series like this one only has three here and here's the schematic with the three um, 100 UF 350 volt caps there in series um, like Christmas lights one to the other one to the other um, what happens is if those caps you know start getting mismatched like mismatched tubes you know some will start pulling more than the other um, um, that will take out you know the caps you know one by one um, if that happens um, and it does happen so one of the things that helps that is using an equalizing resistor whereas you're putting um, a equal resistance and hence an equal voltage across each cap um, and since you're putting in a bleeder anyway or modern thinking is you might as well you know make it an equalizer um, resistor also so those three blue resistors there are dual function they bleed the capacitors and they also equalize the voltage going across the capacitor so uh, makes it a better amp so anyway this is my funky cheap um, sweep tube amp only uh, chicken stick all I did was get a um, jumper wire going to ground and put it on my um, meter probe and I'm gonna safely hold it back here um, and make sure you know it's unplugged been unplugged a while and touch the grounds and the points of these capacitors and make sure I got no charge in it you know that's a safety thing there with this um, cheap chicken stick now the bigger the amplifier you know with transmitting tubes like 500 Z's that run on you know 3000 volts or uh, you know 3 CX you know 25,000 might run on um, um, 10 10,000 volts you want your stick to be a lot better and a lot longer and you know than this for those it's the same principle but you get you know a wooden stick and um, you know just the metal end on the wooden stick 
Um, you know, you can use a piece of um, um, a nail uh, 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 or whatever, as long as it's a good conductor on the end. And then you put it on a wooden stick and, you know, have a ground wire or jumper going onto that metal part of the wooden stick. And then you could be three, four feet away, you know, with your wooden stick poking around in there to make sure uh, your discharge on those bigger amps. But these sweep tube amps run about 800 so, you know, even if I had voted, it's just not going to arc too far. And I'm about, you know, six, eight inches away. So that's my um, cheap, you know, chicken stick there. And, you know, we made sure we had discharge. But anyway, um, people always talking about shorts. They have shorts in their amplifier. Um, it's usually the high voltage and or high voltage related. And they're like, what to check or how to check, you know, if you got a short. If you got a short, you know, um, I say most of the time it's either a tube, the tube is shorted itself, or it's the um, transformer has shorted. People say, you know, it's the caps, high voltage caps. Yeah, they short from time to time, but usually when they short, it's kapow. And often they don't blow the fuse because again they're in series like Christmas tree lights so if one of them short out you still got the other two you know going on doing what they're supposed to do so usually if one of them short um, it's not gonna blow the fuse you're gonna have problems you're gonna have noise you might have smoke it's gonna be superheating the other two and they're gonna go soon but if one cap short um, it's usually not going to take out the fuse of an amp. Same with diodes that are in series like these. It's using, um, it's got four legs for a bridge rectifier on this, but it's using two diodes in each leg. You know, the higher voltage amplifiers, they might use six, eight, you know, 12, 15, you know, in series on each leg. But anyway, if one of them shorts, the other one is still going to do what it needs to do. Um, you know, it's possible one short and then sooner or later it's going to take out the other one and both of them be shorted on one leg, but not as common as what usually happens if you got a short is usually a two. And the first thing I say is, you know, uh, check everything, see if anything look, you know, pop, blown, heated, you know, unpowered, make sure you drain it, check everything and then take the tubes out and uh, uh, fire it up again um, with the tubes out. If you got a variac, which I do, you know, put it on a variac and slowly turn up the voltage. And um, a lot of variacs have a current meter. If not, you know, current meters are cheap now. Um, put a current meter in line and see if that um, amp start uh, going up as you turn up that variac. If they go up a lot, you know, hey, turn it back down, you still got a short. But um, my diagnosis is, you know, start at the back. The tubes are easy to take out. Take them out. See if you still got a short. If you still have it, um, I'd say disconnect the capacitors. On this one, it comes from the diodes. through that line there or that bare wire there into the capacitor so I could disconnect that fire it up again and see if I still got a short you know um, and take out the fuse if it does you can check you can check diodes with a, um, a multimeter and again if you don't have a shorted diode you probably got a blown transformer a common problem because people try to get too many watts out of these amplifiers um, and the amp can't take it again when people tell me you know I'm getting you know uh, a thousand watts out of a Maverick 250 or you know 1500 watts out of a Phantom 500 you know they didn't call it a Phantom 500 you know for no reason if it was made to do 1500 watts and I say yeah you could get it out for a minute until it blows and you know you're gonna blow because uh you're gonna take out tubes and eventually you're gonna take out the transformer so any anyway, my my thoughts are you know you got a short you blowing fuses it's usually the either the tube and if it ain't the tube it's probably the transformer but you can you know start at the back with the tubes disconnect it you know uh, that doesn't fix it disconnect the caps that doesn't fix it disconnect the diodes 
And if you're shorting, uh, you know, taking out the fuse with just the transformer uh, connected and the count transformer ain't connected to nothing, the transformer has a short. Um, basically, here's the schematic of the Maverick 250. And um, this is the high voltage going out up to the tubes. Actually, it goes to a relay and it switches on the high voltage only when it transmits. But um, not all amps do that. But um, so high voltage out up to the tube. So if you got a short, disconnect the tubes. You still shorting? Disconnect your capacitors. You're still shorting. This is the diode. This is the bridge. Funny way that they did the bridge, but um, disconnect that. You still short? There's your transformer. That's probably your problem, right there. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this one. Bye.